Let us see angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. ACE inhibitors are frequently used as antihypertensive drugs. Mechanism of action It inhibits the generation of angiotensin 2, result in dilatation of arteriole and decrease in peripheral vascular resistance, thereby decrease the blood pressure. It decreases the aldosterone production and decrease sodium and water retention and again result in decreased blood pressure. It decreases the sympathetic nervous system activity. Then, it inhibits the degradation of bradykinin. Pharmacokinetics It is usually given orally. ACE inhibitors poorly cross the blood-brain barrier and it is metabolized in liver, excreted in urine. In hypertensive emergency, enalapril given intravenously, food reduces the absorption of captopril, hence it should be given one hour before meal. Then let us go, what are the adverse effects and contraindication of AC inhibitors? To understand this, we have to simply choose the pneumonic captopril. Adverse effect and contraindications include cuff, dry cuff due to increased bradykinin level in the lungs. Appearance of intractable cuff is an indication to stop the drug. It is subsides following discontinuation of drug. Angioedema. There may be chance to swelling in the nose, lip, mouth, throat, larynx and glottis. There can be airway obstruction. Patient airway should be protected. If required, adrenaline, glucocorticoid and antihistamine should be administered. Proteinuria. Can occur rarely. The drug should be discontinued immediately. Teratogenic effect. Uh, there stands for growth retardation, fetal hypotension, renal failure, and neonatal death, hence contraindicated in pregnancy. Hypotension may occur following first dose of AC inhibitors. Neutropenia is rare. Rashes, itching, discontinuation of drug is requ not required in itching cases. And uh, loss of taste sensation, that is dysgeusia. Hyperkalemia. In patients receiving AC inhibitors, there may be chance to hyperkalemia. It may occur in the presence of renal insufficiency or when they are combined with the potassium sparing diuretics. AC inhibitors are contraindicated in patients with bilateral renal artery stenosis as acute renal failure can be precipitated. At last, we can check the drug interactions. AC inhibitors should not be given with a potassium sparing diuretic because it causes hyperkalemia. Second one, AC inhibitors should not be given with lithium because it can cause lithium toxicity. Here, AC inhibitors retard the renal elimination of lithium, thereby it causes the lithium toxicity. Then, third one, AC inhibitors should not be given with NSAID or non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs because NSAID by inhibiting the prostaglandin synthesis promote sodium and water retention on chronic use. So they decrease the antihypertensive effect of AC inhibitors. Fourth one, AC inhibitors should not be given with the AC thiazide because diuretic increase the antihypertensive effect of AC inhibitors by promoting the loss of sodium and water.